I have lived in London for over 10 years, and I've heard so much about this place, but I've yet to visit it in East London. Today we're going to do it. We're headed to get a bagel from Shoreditch on Brick Lane. Let's go. Brick Lane bagels. So I don't normally do voiceover stuff on this channel, but my camera was accidentally set to slow and quick mode for the beginning couple clips, which is a bit frustrating. It doesn't output audio. That's okay. Here I am. But after that, I also am trying out a new microphone. And so the microphone's attenuation was a bit high. That's okay. Always about growing and learning. Either way, after my journey to Shoreditch, we got here. I got a nice little coffee at this little place called Kalia, a flat white, of course, absolutely delicious. And then I just really loved the entire aesthetic of this whole bagel place blown away by the prices as well 40p for a bagel bring it home cream cheese it yourself that is a bargain and it very 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 tasty and there's not really any seating in the place so we just walked down the road a bit to a nearby tea place to sit there this is the reason why i wanted to get this this is um salt beef pickle mustard bagel the place just looks so much like a brooklyn deli it was it was almost as if I was in Brooklyn. This area itself, also part of London, does look so much more like Brooklyn than any other part. It's something about the vibe, it's so much graffiti that's RT. Oh, thank you. Actual salt beef mustard pickle bagel here. That's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh my god, that's amazing. Definitely big up the, um, the salt beef pickle bagel, 100%. Oh, wow. All those tastes are perfect together. One of my favorite things to get in New York, one of my favorite things to get here, I guess. Also, a phenomenal chai. I literally, I don't own any vintage things, but I like flannels, so I mean, clearly, it's my type of thing. I'm incredibly full right now. However, I do just want to give a special shout out in Spitalfields Market to Mercamo, the best vegan food I've ever had in London. I've taken all my vegan friends here. It is uh, literally my favorite. I used to eat here all the time after work and it made me want to go vegan just for this place. I mean, look at that. Tell me that doesn't look freaking amazing. Oh, nice. What in God's name? You can you can get Jeff Bezos to chop your hair. I'm okay. What are you trying to say about my phone, honey? I'm trying to say about my phone. Uh, <laughs> Have you okay. seen mine? So oh, many nice pants. Wow, he looks so funky. <sighs> Oh my god, this is glorious. It reminds me a little bit of Carter. It's just so built up. There's so much construction when I was here. And now look at this place. Ridiculous. Just look at it. Sorry for crying. Well, it was honestly a really nice day. Really short little thing today. I only had two hours to spend in Brick Lane, but I was just Wanting to go, never been. Heather obviously hasn't been. I take her to all the London places that she's unaware of. Maybe you were unaware of Brick Lane. The bagels, top notch. Also, it's a nice place to just walk around, see a lot of nice graffiti. I used to work like a two minute walk from there, like for a year and a half, and yet I never went. <laughs> Crazy, there's so many places to, to go within Shoreditch and see little places within Spitalfield, so I explored a lot more of that area. After I finished vlogging that little area, I basically walked around Liverpool Street Station for a good hour and a half, just taking interesting photos and street photography that interested me. It's kind of like the only thing that I know of that I can do that I feel really, really present at in which I'm not thinking about anything else. I don't feel anxious. I'm not, you know, storming in a cloud up in my brain. It's more like just super focusing on what I'm trying to find that's interesting in my environment, We're trying to line up interesting things. And yeah, I just feel at peace, I guess, when I'm doing that. But the issue is, so I'm just looking through the photos that I've taken. 520 photos <laughs> just from like an hour of me just snapping trying to get nice things and it takes me a long time to go through them and you know that's just part of it and Instagram isn't really a thing anymore in terms of it's not really for photographers and so for me I'm taking lots of photos but I'm not really posting as much I'm doing it for me still enjoying it I, I am hoping to sell some prints in uh, late March probably April at this point due to the amount of time it takes to do that. I've chosen the photos, I'm ready to, ready to go, uh, but just a little bit more admin to go. Uh, if you're wondering where I've been for the last couple months on this channel, eh, I'll, I'll make a main channel video about it in the next month or two. Wasn't, wasn't in a good enough place, I don't think, to post content here, you know, to be authentic. So that's it, pretty much. Anyway, <laughs> it's a vlog. This is a second channel vlog, so I mean, important to note, I also stopped streaming about two weeks ago. I haven't really said anything about it. I need, I just hate that I have to make some sort of announcement, but 
basically I had a nice year and a half off because I was trying to get this house and then building out the house and building out my studio. And then when I got everything set up, it just didn't feel right. Every time I streamed, I felt bad in terms of I'd end it and I didn't feel good about it. You know, it wasn't like this nice fun experience anymore. It just felt like the, the joy of doing it, especially like during lockdown where I was like craving some sort of societal connection of community. It was, it was really great then, but now, I don't know. It, it just doesn't, it felt like I was constantly frustrated and I'm trying to focus on what's happening in the game and the story, but also trying to not be a bad creator and focus on the chat, but you can't really do both without missing story bits and then missing people. And, and it just made me constantly feel like I'm, um, not succeeding in anything. You know, I'm not making people happy. I'm not making myself happy. That doesn't sound like a good mix, does it? No. So basically, I think I'm stopping streaming indefinitely. I'll, I might come back bits and bobs, like the Metroid Prime came out again on Switch and I'm like, I wanted to stream that for ages. But now I'm like, maybe I can also just play it and not stream it. Just have that part for me. I don't know. Um, but uh, on a personal note, for me, it's a really hard thing for me to do to stop doing something like that because to me, I'm treating it like some sort of failure. Like I'm now a failure because I stopped doing something. I could have kept grinding and doing it, but I'm in a war with myself because I'm like, failure, no, uh, you know, that isn't working for you and you're making an adult decision. Just heard a scream from outside. They're having the same conundrum, I bet. So yeah, that that's pretty much a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Upcoming news, I'm actually finally traveling again. I'm really excited. I booked some flights to Madeira next month and I've only been there once before for like 12 hours when I was on a cruise with my friend Ellie. So I'm really excited to have a full week there, especially cause it's like photographer porn. You know, there's so many amazing landscapes and forests and oh, I'm very excited basically. So gonna be doing that, doing some travel vlogs from there. I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way of making content on this channel that is authentic to me, but also isn't just content, you know, it's it's really difficult because I just, for instance, wanted to go to the bagel place and be like, here, I'm going to the bagel place. But I don't have someone filming me. I'm trying to do it like that, but then I'm like, nobody gives a crap about this unless you title it in some specific way. And you know, you, you feel me? This is, I'm just, blip, just blurting at you. Anyway, thanks for catching up with me. Hope you're okay. Um, the house is doing great, very happy. I'll update you on the big sad, probably on the main channel, like I said, in a month or two when I'm finally ready. But in the meantime, hope you're well. I'm gonna get to editing these photos and drinking a lot of water. Hope you have a nice weekend. Like, like, you push B to go, hold B to go, A is okay. use item. And then re release the B every once in a while. Okay, okay. So that you can turn. This is the real party. This is gonna go so well. How does it feel to win? He won, he did. Won, uh, Third play, it's better than nothing. <laughs>